stupid chair. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. You all saw my pants. Put that down in the description. Well, down in the comments below if you saw. <sighs> but anyways, I wanted to talk about something else. Besides the fact that uh, Marsha Wallace's death, even though it is still very important, and that, you know, rest in peace, I want to talk about another person's death. Yeah. And she goes by Lisa Left Eye Lopez. But first, you know. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm, and the reason why I want to talk about it was just tonight I watched about from maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes in, and to maybe like an hour of the special that aired on NTV, NTV BH1. And, I definitely have to say, hey, I enjoyed it. It was very good. Yeah, I'm going to tie these stupid things. He's walking my eyes. He said, I got some nice eyes. But, yeah. Anyways, besides the point. Hey, as you know, the whole issue with Lisa you know how they became stars and stuff like that. I don't own very many of the CDs, yet I have listened to them multiple times on Pandora. I've heard the song, the song Scrubs and Waterfalls. You know, let's put it this way. When I heard about her dying was when I was watching Hey, I believe Nostalgia Chicks video about her did a very good job, and I enjoyed it. I learned a lot about how that band was, may not so much came to be, but, you know, a little troubled. I mean, with the exception of the, you know, Tione's, his, uh, the Sickle Cell, and the other one being, hey, hey, oh god, why can't I remember things that are actually very important, and especially for these videos, yes. but then hey, especially one of the best girl groups ever to come out, yeah. but uh, uh, Chile's, uh, pregnancy, uh, and I guess her other issues would probably be, you know, pregnancy and, you know, other relationships and how all that stuff goes. It was very good. I enjoyed it. I, I think, you know, I, I already knew about uh, Lisa's drinking issues, which, you know, funny thing is, uh, that's a very common thing with most as artists. I think people tend to forget that, is that, you know, we've had artists, people who are geniuses, they're crazy. However, to me, what they should be able to do is create an impact. And they did. So, you know, from their first single, which was the Ain't Too Proud to Bay. Yeah. That was my favorite song, which, you know, I didn't think much of it being about safe sex, but, and the condoms, everything, which, Hey, I think that's very important to do. Now, did I learn anything about it? I don't think that was the point. I think it was to get excited about it. Like, some TV shows I've watched when I was a child. 
that had absolutely it didn't teach me a single thing other than you know I need to go learn about it. One minute. Shut up, phone. It's charging. But I still use it. I need to turn the alarm off. <laughs> but anyways. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. I think it was interesting to hear how the songs impacted their lives from you know, Chile's relationships and inspired the song Creep. Uh Tione's hospital stay, I think that was I think it's weird how that had anything to do with inspiring a lot of their songs because if you watch their videos it's more about I think I'm pretty was more about things that make you feel ugly on the inside. Hey. And you know, yet all of how pretty I am, how some people have down you know, have personal uh self body if images in with so, body, uh, body image issues, there we go. That's what I need to say. <sighs> but, at the same time, okay, I can see that working for her. That, you know, look, I gotta be, I gotta go be in the hospital and be sick. Oh, also, how they were treated by the label company that they previously worked for. Which, you know, I hate to say this, that is not new. That has probably been going on since, I would argue, the 70s, probably even before then. Because there was a time where artists were owned by the company that they sang for, you know, or worked for. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Because, yeah, that's why it, it took, long, took such a long time. But, now, okay, before I get too much into what else, other things, I, I thought that was very good, and of how they represent how label companies treat their artists and stuff. It's not new, it's something we've always done. I sort of like that it was from a, well, I guess it wouldn't matter from anyone's perspective, if, you know, it wouldn't matter anyways. Yes. But it's just a story that happens to be told, and I think this one was authentically 1990s. It did a very good job for the first time. We don't do that often nowadays. Yes. I'm sure we'll have our American Graffiti and then Bruce Sue, our John Hughes films, which will actually, John Hughes films to me, or any films that actually probably take that context of what happened in the time period and use it to its best. Well, the other side is just, oh look, there was a car that was used during that same time period, so awesome, but for some reason they say things, do things that no one would actually do. Or if they did do <laughs> it this way, if it's the 50s, I'm not going to see girls wanting to play. Well, okay, that's besides the point. Anyways, that's why I like this movie, too. Um, now, what I think about the band, or the musicians, anyways, compared to others, I think... I enjoy the fact that, like most 90s bands that I've liked, and I'll do a list of bands and whatnot, but not one day, okay, but not now, this is just that special, it is they were one of the few bands that actually had personalities. Because actually, if you do look back at girl bands a long time 
before our time. They just sang and you know, they looked pretty. One example would be, you know, uh pretty girl rock. And yes, I think that is a good musician. And one minute. Stupid phones. One modern inconvenience that we could have all done without it. But that's for another day. As soon as I get the crazy look out of my eye, I'll continue with what I was going to say. And I know it's going to happen in another five minutes anyway, so, anyways. It's, I think, uh, that's one, that's one of the biggest complaints with Destiny's Child versus TLC or Spice Girls, because, yeah, when you watch Spice Girls, yeah, they sing, they dance, but, you know, let's put it this way, tell me what you want, what you really, really want, just tell me what you want, what you really, really want, but I want to, I want to, I want to, they really, 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 you want my future, and that's for another day, but, yeah, it's, I love that song, but, uh, we all know what they want. They might as well just tell us, rather than waiting our entire lives to get it. But anyways, no offense to Wannabe. I like Wannabe. It's a good song. It's got a nice beat. But that was the best part of TSC, was they were at least authentic. At least they told us what they wanted and what we needed. And, you know, what we should be quote-unquote, using, at least, and, yeah, I will agree, I like that their first video I saw, well, is they dressed like kids, so it was meant to relate to children, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What other things did I like about the special? I sort of thought it was interesting how they captured and Lisa Left Eye Lopez's issues. So, yeah, that was good. It was nice to see that for a change. Uh, not that it's new, like I said. And how she tried to, you know, get over it, which was. But, like I said, I didn't see the ending, so no one post down the ending. I'm sorry. I don't want to know. I plan on catching it again. But the problem is, it conflicted with my viewing of my other favorite movie. And that's how I said other favorite movie. I didn't say that this wasn't my favorite movie. Which was Back to the Future. Huh. And also, that concludes this video. If you got anything to say, not referencing the ending, I don't want to know what happens in the end. And put it down in the comments below. If you like this video, thumbs it up, thumbs it down. Anyways, that's. More, but uh, yeah. And uh, this is Evie being the boss, and tell you to follow you follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and sign out.